So I was on the campaign trail back in the spring earlier this year. And I was on Kenyon Avenue and I knocked on a door and the young man who came to the door, he confronted me and he said, you lied to me. You said we were going to have an artificial multi-sport complex at side of the field and you lied. And it didn't matter what I said to this person at this home on Kenyon Avenue, he accused me of lying and not delivering on a promise. Well, things don't happen overnight. It takes a lot of planning, it takes resources, it takes coordination, it takes the support of funding agencies and members of the governing body. And so I want to say to that young man who was so hostile to me, back in May, we have delivered on the promise that we have made to the people of Plainfield. And we're not done yet. We have been enjoying a great partnership with the County of Union. And what you see here today, within the next eight months or so, you will see a duplicate of this at Cedarbrook Park. Yeah. By May of next year, there will be a multi-sport artificial turf complex at Cedarbrook Park, and there will also be a mini soccer field as well. And so we will continue to move our city forward. We will continue to enhance our recreational spaces. You've seen what we've done downtown with the skate park and our young people can't get enough of that park. And so we're going to continue to invest in our city. This is $1.7 million of all of our tax dollars. This was made possible through grant funds, through funds in the recreational, the recreational trust fund and a commitment on the part of our city. That is how we are here. And this is just another demonstration of the improvements, the development that's happening in our city. Right across the street, in a matter of months, there will be a five-story mixed-use facility that will be right across the street with restaurant that will spread out onto the, the, the train parking lot. And this is a part of the development that you're seeing in our city. And so I ask all of you to continue to be as supportive as you can be so that together we will continue to move our city forward. These young people that are here, seated and standing, I know how they feel knowing that they have a state-of-the-art facility that they will enjoy for several generations. And we are not finished with this facility. This is the grand opening, but there will be additional features. There will be, be a, a press box, the whole nine yards. We're gonna do it right. And so I wanna thank all of you for coming out this morning, for sticking with me, sticking with us, and believing in the vision that together we will move Plainfield forward. So I wanna thank all of you, and we are, to, we are gonna cut this ribbon so that we can declare this sports complex officially open. Let's do it.